Hey, what's up guys? My name is Dominic Nikolai, and uh, today I'm going to show you how I cut my own hair because every time I post it on my stories on my Instagram, um, I always get a lot of requests for how I do it and you know how it's so cool and whatnot. To me, I've been doing it for the last five years, so I don't really think much of it, but I want to give you guys a little bit of a, a little bit of a tutorial as to how I do it to go from my hair looking like this to this. Okay, so I got my lighting, I got my hair cutting supplies, and because we're so fortunate to live in this beautiful uh, apartment and uh, apartment complex, I'm lucky enough to have a salon as one of the amenities here. So basically, instead of making a mess in my bathroom, we're gonna head over there now. So now I'm just gonna get all my supplies set up. Oh, and uh, by the way, if you guys wanna know what kind of clippers I use, I use Baby Babyless clippers. I think it's how you pronounce it. This is what they look like. That's the spelling right there. I think they're like $160. Um, they're pretty nice. So it's definitely worth the investment if you're gonna be cutting your own hair. Got my attachments in here. Got my fitting shears. Got my you know, regular scissors. Now we're just gonna lay out all the attachments so I can see what I'm working with. So for those of you who don't know, I don't know how you wouldn't know, but uh, hair clippers go by grades. So the higher the number, the uh, the longer your hair is gonna be. So eight is one inch, seven is, uh, I think it's uh, seven eighths of an inch, six is three quarters of an inch, you know, five, four, three, two, one, so on and so forth. So basically, this is how you taper, this is how you taper your fade, and this is how you blend your hair so that you don't have a hard um, blend line when you are cutting your hair. And I'm not, you know, a professional at this, but I'm sufficient enough as to where I'm comfortable enough to cut my own hair and then walk outside in public with myself, self down haircut. So, I've got my blade oil. So now I'm just gonna prepare the clippers. Brushing off all the old hair so I can apply a nice little fresh coat of oil so that way the clippers don't uh, overheat and you know seize up because this blade and this blade oscillate against each other, creating uh, quite a bit of friction, making it hot. So the oil obviously helps to prevent uh, binding. It's kind of like the same reason that you put in, uh, oil in a car engine. Okay, so with all that, I'm finally ready to get started. And basically what I do is I'm gonna be starting off with a an open, an open zero. And I'm just gonna go around my head and I'm just gonna basically create, you know, the start of the uh, haircut. And it's not gonna be a perfectly straight line around my head, but it's okay because it doesn't need to be as long as I blend it, you know, well enough. So here we go. Okay, so now that we have that done, I'm going to close the zero. So now it's an even shorter zero than before. And we're just gonna go very close to the, to the edge of my hairline, just to clean up the edge of my hairline and you know make the haircut last a little bit longer. Now right, that's done, I'm uh, gonna come over here and I'm probably gonna go with the six because the seven and the eight, I can probably just blend that out with these uh, thinning shears. So basically I'm just gonna take the six, and I'm gonna come from the top, start at the top, and then I'm slowly gonna graduate all the way down to that, and I'm gonna start getting lower and lower and lower. And how I tell um, you know, when to stop going up with the clippers is basically the sound that my hair makes. So obviously if I hear the hair clippers clipping off hair, I know that's when I'm supposed to flick, you know, start tapering it away from my head, if that makes sense. Six is pretty long, 
So not much came off there. And we're gonna go to the five. I'm gonna repeat the process. And this is basically what you're gonna do all the way down to, you know, to the point five. And you're basically just gonna be going in tiers. So it's gonna be like a six, five, four, three, two, one, zero, if that makes sense. So this blend line is not gonna to start to go away until I get to around a one and a half, a one, a two and a half, and an open zero and stuff like that because where you see this hard line, my hair difference between the zero and the hair length right there is is uh, you know a quarter of an inch right there. So I'm not gonna I'm not expecting the line to start disappearing until I get into these low numbers. So now we're on a three. And you can see. I'm not going up as high as I was with the 5 and the 6 and the 4 and stuff like that. Moving on to the 2. And now you can see that that line is really starting to disappear. And I'm actually going to open this up a little bit to blend that out. And after I think I'm done, what I'll do is I'll usually have somebody take a picture of the back of my head. And if I see that it's, it's you know, messed up in certain places, I'll go back or I'll kind of feel it to assess what length I need to do and then I'll go back and I'll correct it afterwards. And again, when I mean, when I say open the clippers, I'm talking about this lever right here. Basically allows about, I don't know, I think it's like an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch in length extension or retraction on the clippers. So if you're opening it, you're, you're making it, you're basically making this a little bit longer. And the reason I'm cutting my hair with my shirt off is not to show off, it's basically because I don't want to put a shirt on, and then my shirt turns into a prickly shirt that's full of my hair for the next three months because it's never going to come out. So now moving on to the 1.5. Started with a six, and a 1.5, and we're going to the one. And I'm going to make it a long one. So I'm going to open the open up the clippers. I can already kind of tell. I can see kind of a shelf. I can see kind of a shelf of hair right there. I'm gonna have to come back and hit that with like a three or something like that to get rid of that right there. Anyways. So two things look like First thing to keep in mind is that this light right here is a very harsh uh, LED ring light, so it's gonna, you're going to be able to see a lot of the uh, you know, things that you wouldn't normally be able to see in something that's not as bright as this. Um, second of all, I do need to get like a hand, a little hand mirror. I used to have one. I don't have one with me right now because we just moved. Um, but basically what I would do is I'd take the hand mirror and I'd go like this in front of this mirror so I can see what's going on behind my head. Um, so yes, I know that I, I do need a mirror. I just don't have one right now. So now I'm gonna come back with that three that I was talking about to try and get rid of that shelf of hair. Or blend it a little bit better. And you can hear that. See, when you hear that, you're cutting hair.
Okay, so now what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm gonna take a break from cutting the sides of my hair. I'm gonna rinse off my whole head in the sink so I can kind of get a, a better feel for if there's like hair that's stuck on the side of my head, it can kind of, you know, basically if I rinse off my hair, I can see the line better and I can see, you know, what's happening because there's, there's a lot of cut off hair that's kind of stuck to my scalp right now. That's kind of um, making, you know, maybe something that's there, not actually there and whatnot. And it looks really good in person. It's just this light, like with the camera makes it look like kind of harsh. Um, anyways, but also the reason I'm rinsing off my hair is so that I can kind of use these. And uh, to be honest, I don't know the correct way to use these, but I do know that I have very thick hair and I do need to use these to kind of take out some of that bulk. So. Are you gonna Do you want me to give it to you? No. Oh man, probably should have brought a towel. But that's all right, I'm gonna some in here. And another towel. <laughs> So for this, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use this as a comb so that it bring one. And I'm just going to kind of style my hair as if I'm actually going to be wearing it like this. Because this is normally how I wear it, you know, just not sopping wet. So that way I can see what places on my head need to have a little bit of the, the bulk taken out of it. So definitely in the back. And but I don't need to like, like all this, like get that crap out. So. so as you can see these combs don't actually cut off, it's not like a straight edge scissor so it doesn't cut off all right, the hair. I didn't focus, it's stupid camera. Oh my gosh, this thing that just like does not focus. So the nice thing about these scissors, as opposed to the straight edge scissors, is that they kind of don't require as much skill to use these because if you take these scissors and you just go like this and you go snip, it's going to be just a straight you know, line of hair, whereas these kind of do the blending work for you. So that's what makes it a little bit easier to use, and I have very thick hair, so um, you know naturally it only really makes sense that that's what I'm going to do. And then when my hair, when my actual hair length gets you know long and very unmanageable, that's when I come up with the clippers and or the clippers and or the straight edge, and then I'll kind of just you know go up like that, and then I'll do that. Well, right now your ends actually need a little bit of a trim. So. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> well, I can't believe you just I forgot that. I was using the straight edge and not the actual things. Are you recording or just Yeah, I recorded it. So I forgot I was using the straight edge, so, you know. Looks like it didn't do too much damage. Right, it looks fine. Yeah, I'll just go over it with the thing here. I think that's pretty much it for now. Um, I'm gonna assess the situation and then I'll get back to you guys in a second. So here's a good uh, 360 before I get in the shower, get cleaned up and then do any final corrections. Um, I'm gonna get cleaned up in here. I'm gonna sweep all this stuff up because obviously I can't leave a mess. And then I think I'll get back to you guys after I have it dried and uh, styled. We just got out of the shower. Now I'm gonna style my hair. Just gonna put some hair oils in here so my hair will actually uh, work with me and behave. What are the products you're using? Using some argan oil and uh, some of this stuff. And this stuff is I like it a lot. It kind of like uh, flattens my hair out a little bit and makes it like not so puffy. This is the uh, hair dryer that I use.
right, so that's pretty much uh, pretty much that for now. So here's the final product. This is what it ended ended up looking like. I know that some of these lines in my head look like hard hard blend lines. Um, I would say half of it is because it might be, and the other half is because I'm under harsh downlighting. Um, but yeah, overall, I think I'm pretty happy with how this how this cut turned out. I cut my own I cut my own hair about once every 10, 10 to twelve days or so, and uh, I've been doing that for the last five years. So I think this is uh, where I'm going to cut it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.